Hello and welcome to the Daily Show. We're coming ah. from now. Yeah, he's running a little bit late. I'm not running late. I'm running. Yeah. No, we start this Daily Show 5:30 <laughs> every single day, and you're 30 seconds late. <laughs> what, you, what have you been doing? Just showing off this beautiful place. Did you know this was a, that, that this place used to be a laneway? So this place that you can see was outside once upon a time. Oh. Okay. So it was a driveway for uh, the back apartments and the back buildings. That's cool. And I've ticked it out. Very Melbourne. We are in Melbourne right now. Very artsy. We were in Sydney uh, yesterday night, yesterday. Yesterday night. And uh, <laughs> we're having some fun in Aussie. Today we caught up with Anne from How to Cook That and we did Lamingtons. Yeah, we also caught up with Jazza. Um, and he's, well, if you don't know Jazza, he's got this drawing channel and he's awesome. But yeah, we did catch up with Anne and we made lamingtons. And we were talking with Anne and she's like, lamingtons is such an Australian food. Yeah, but we disagree. And uh, Auckland University have actually like delved into this. I was going to say, like, they dug deep. Because mm -hmm. you might think people at universities, what do they all do? What do they do all day? Why do they get paid so much money? Sometimes people don't even go to uni. Like, I don't go to uni. But the people who work there, they're paid to do important research like this. Well, they've got um, a lamington uh, fact here. Apparently, the University of Auckland used a watercolour painting with a lamington to, pr to prove that New Zealand invented lamingtons. Right. Uh, the portrait was painted by an artist called J.R. Smythe in 1988, 14 years before the first ever lamington recipe was published in Queensland, Australia. I don't want to... 1888, just a hundred years, just a slight hundred year... Uh, discrepancy on the date there, uh, 1888. What did I say? No, it's fine. I mean, 1988, also a great year. <laughs> but um, I have some questions about this because was the artist a Kiwi? Did he have an aunt or uncle in Australia who maybe he'd visited and served him lamingtons and he thought, oh, I like that, I'm going to paint that. You know, like, do we have proof that this guy was a Kiwi, that he hadn't travelled or been influenced by Australian culture? Um, like, what? how do we know? You're not a true New Zealander. Like, why are you trying to say, like, you should be trying to claim that we made the lamingtons, even if we didn't. Come on, that great. <laughs> it's like when people are like, Russell Crowe, like, like, I'm like you're sugar -free call him an Aussie, I don't mind, have him. <laughs> you know, like, sure, seems like a nice guy, I'm sure he's a great actor, whatever, but I, like, I'm not going to lie awake at night thinking, oh, if only. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I can't eat sugar, gluten or dairy, so what do, what do I want with Lamingtons? Okay, well when it comes to the New Zealand and Australian rivalry, mm -hmm. what things do you want to claim that us Kiwis have? I feel like we should all just live in harmony. <laughs> the whole world these borders i mean in new zealand and australia it makes sense because you've got australia the whole continent right and then new zealand i mean the borders are it makes sense but in most parts of the world they're arbitrary you know we should all just come together if they draw a line and they go that's your country that's my country well we're all just really the same aren't we okay i hear you and you're so right with what you're saying but like this annoys me here um that um australia claimed lord they claim Lord as the Australasian Lord. But isn't that wonderful? Isn't that lovely that they go, oh, we're but so why proud can't of you. Aussies just say, oh, Lord, she's a great New Zealand artist. Okay, I feel like you've got some kind of little brother syndrome going on here. <laughs> Speaking of which, we found out today that Adam's brother has something that Adam will never have. And maybe that's why... I don't know if I feel comfortable talking about my brother's nipples on I camera. I wasn't going to say it. I was not going to mention it. But now you well, have... Well, now I've mentioned it. And now I feel bad. Whereas you were the one that brought it up. Basically, my brother's got three nipples. And Eve was saying, your brother's got everything. He's even got more nipples than you. <laughs> and then I was saying, well, I'm going to go get some plastic surgery and I ask think, for two more nipples. I think subconsciously this is where it started. You guys were having the bath together as a kid and you are like, no, you just, know what? It just started. <laughs> you know, no, it wasn't when we were a kid. It was like last year or the year before. We weren't having a bath together last year. He, he, no judgment. We were talking about, I don't, I don't know what we were talking about. Because I think I've got a wee raspberry there. Like, it's like a birthmark, but it doesn't quite look like a birthmark. And my mum and dad called it a raspberry. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> and then Jared was like, oh, it's kind of like my third nipple. And everyone just like went, what? So He's no like, one would know it. I've got three nipples, and he's even got the wee like, like the nip bit. It's not like a like a growth. It's actually it actually looks like a nipple. Well, there Comment you in the sections <laughs> below if you've got more than two nipples. Friend of mine does. I'm not mentioning names though, because I'm a good friend. 
Oh, you, you, you just chucked me in that. I, I, I didn't think we were going to say it. I didn't think we were going to say I thought we were just going to leave it there. Well, no, no you just it. chucked me in it. Um, now, um, Australia, uh, we've got some facts for you. The Hemsworth brothers are from here. Yeah, from Ru Melbourne. Yeah, Ruby Rose. Oh, yeah. Eric Bunner. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, Kate Blanchett. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, now Classy Mel group. Now, I don't know if you've been to Melbourne before, but Melbourne's more like the um, the AFL, o the like the Aussie. It's like the Wellington versus the Auckland. Right, I was going more sporty, sure, way yeah. here, but you're going for the more cultural aspect. So yeah, it's um, arty here. Like we've got. And Sydney's more like beachy vibes. Oh, we're gonna have a look at that. Can we have a look at the painting? Thank you. Oh. Have a look, look at this. Oh, see, this see, is this is very Melbourne. That painting's okay, but I love that one. It looks like they've just put twink all over it. Oh yeah, I see what they did there. Yeah. So while we're here in Aussie, we want to try some um, quintessentially Australian foods or I don't know stuff. Yeah. We yeah. want to try some stuff. So, so, so recommend in the comments below if there's anything that you think we should try while we're here, and we can do that in our live stream tomorrow. Yeah, and uh, so we've got some suggestions already. Uh, Violet crumble which is similar to a crunchy. Okay. We've got the Chico roll, which is similar to is a sausage a roll. Is it Chico? How do I say How that? How do we say it? We've got an Aussie here. No, it's Chico roll, you're right. Oh. It's, but, not, it's not as sweet, it's like a savoury. It's like a sausage roll. Yeah, no, I, I, said, I said like a sausage roll. I know, yeah. Chico. Oh, I was just saying, you don't want you, to have a violet crumble. Okay. A Chico roll. <laughs> oh, right, you don't. Smith's what? chips. Um, similar to blueberry chips. Iced Vovo, kind of like a shrewsbury biscuit, but covered in coconut. We've got an Australian in the back here. Yeah. And he's, he's a, mm, mm, like an Australian very, advisor. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, cool. Well, yeah, any suggestions, we'll give it a go. We've got Kirk Soda or Solo Soda. No, Again, Nick says in, no. In he's shaking his head like, no, nah, it's not worth it. And Fantail's Candy. Think they're similar to Macintosh Toffee. Oh, now we're getting the nod in the background. Yeah, okay. We like that. Um, All right, so get your suggestions in. Um, thank you for watching. Hopefully you're getting really close to the holidays if you're at school. That's exciting times. But remember, some people watching this aren't at school. Oh, also, if you have a suggestion, it's my little brother's birthday on Monday. He's turning 14. I don't know what to get him for a present if you've got any suggestions. So wait, so wait. <laughs> so wait. In the comments, yeah. we want to know what we can get your brother for his sure. birthday. Sure. We want to know what Australian food we should try tomorrow. Yeah. And we want to know if you've got more than two nipples. That's a lot of information <laughs> for you to give us. So we're going to have numbers, food suggestions, and then the others, and, and we'll divide them up, and hopefully we'll know which is which. Oh, God. All right. Well, that's us today from Melbourne, Australia. We'll be back here again tomorrow. What's an Aussie way to say goodbye? See you later. See you See later. See you later. <laughs> that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you later.